Francaholics. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? This is Funkaholic too. <laughs> Didn't ask you. I know how you're doing. But thank you for that information. Um, I'm here because I have no energy for my computer. There. Fixed it. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, I got some pops today. Seriously. And um, I wanted to share them with you. We did go to the movies last night and saw Fantastic Beasts 2. And um, hmm, I couldn't put up a review. And I, I owe people reviews. When I say people, I mean PR people who can be so nice and wonderful. But can literally put me off a list or, you know say something bad to somebody else. So I'm trying my best. My site is down. I waited yesterday. I believe it went down. I don't know if I said anything, but my site was down all day, all night. And uh, today when I got up to hopefully work, it's down. I know exactly what it is. It's my um, security um, whatever it is, uh, Chrome and Google and everybody else, make sure you have this security certificate, and if you don't have it, it puts you down like a old dog. So this old dog had to call her son, who is my webmaster, and um, a bright, shiny light in my life. Big guy, too. 6'2", 6'3". Mm -hmm. Not real heavy, though, and a runner. Okay, I'm done touting his wonderfulness. When you gonna fix my website? Brandon, I'm talking to you. He'll get it fixed as soon as he can. In the meantime, if I have to, I can do the review on um, YouTube and put it up. It's just that um, PR people see YouTube as only social media and not a way of um, promoting entertainment. However, they don't mind putting their trailers up here, so I don't get that. Um, so, you know, we're having a drawing. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're just passing by, please consider c subscribing because I give away a lot of prizes. But I also show you a lot of really cool pops, and I also show, at the end of my video, I also show some Disney pets when there's time. But I have pulled a few, and uh, I'll make time for you. Anyways, so, here we go. Now this pop is just a common, and I really wanted her very bad. Um, I believe in this lady. I believe that she is important to our our country yeah and she's a pop from Metallica <laughs> Lady Justice and she came broken yes Lady Justice had no um, no it's not her wing. Lady Justice doesn't have wings you should be deported French Indian go back to France she's got to fly Hope your wings don't get tired. Your arms. Hope your arms don't get tired. Don't talk anymore. You're on timeout. <laughs> so her scales in which she weighs justice, and they should always be even, are not even because one's broken off and I just stuck it up there because it was going like that and just pissing me off. That's what it was. So she is amazing and I love the idea of her so much um, she is like our Statue of Liberty she doesn't say anything on her as far as I know but she's blindfolded so she sees neither color nor anything that would tell her what nationality you are and she makes sure that her her um, scales are completely even. She has nothing that says, give me your tired, your poor, your 
huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Nothing like that. I don't think she has anywhere to put it. There might be something on her pedestal. They're not showing it. Anyways, um, this goes back to the hot topic. And I'll get another one. Okay, the Mary Poppins Pops. Mary Poppins Pops. I like that. Are starting to come in. Where's my... Okay. I'm sorry. Have a cold. The Mary Poppins Pops are starting to come in. I love Mary Poppins. I have um, the original pop. A friend sent it to me. She found it in England. I didn't have the heart to tell her I could have gone, you know, to a store and bought her. I don't know how much she paid for it, but she sent it to me. And um, that was very sweet of her. And we are no longer friends. And that, I don't know, it was okay. And, and now I, I don't know. Um, anyway, this, this is the one exclusive I've found. And it is Mary Poppins with her umbrella and indeed she does have that umbrella because she needs it for travel purposes she can get away from going into an airport and having them look in all your personal stuff and taking away the bottles that are of a certain size she just takes out her umbrella and flies through the sky I don't know if she radios and has herself cleared or what but there she is, and I think I have purchased all four pops that are available. There's Mary Poppins with her bag, Mary Poppins with a kite, uh, Mary Poppins in the most beautiful dress. I don't know if you can see it. See, do you see that dress? Oh my gosh, I ordered that and I just like am dying for it to come. And then there's Jack, the chimney sweep. Nope. It says Jack the... Now he's a lamp lighter. <laughs> and what's really exciting, we saw a preview of this, and there is a cameo by Dick Van Dyke. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. And next, I'm excited about this one. And I actually bought this on um, Pop Price Guide. They have a community there that sells pops. I got him for less than I would have if I had gone on eBay or if I had um, tried to buy him on Facebook. And he is a 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition. He was from Comic Con. Unfortunately, this year he didn't get to go to Comic Con, but I'm sure he'll be there next year. And I hope to see him on Sunday, which is the only day I'm going, so probably not. I did get to interview him once over the phone about when he um, opened, when they were uh, putting Nerdist online, which was actually part his, and then of course he, he sold out and went to Talking Dead, and um, after the unfortunate incident, he um, was taken off, you know, and then all of a sudden when it was cleared up, Everything was put back, and he's back on The Talking Dead, and I love him. And his name is Chris Hardwick. The bloody Chris Hardwick. He honestly has gotten me through so much because um, he, he gets it. He gets it that just because a character is not a real person that this character may have been in your life for years. Rick Grimes has been in our life nine years. Nine seasons. And he... I won't say anything. Anyways, I was saying I interviewed him online, I got a few basic information about Nerdist, and then we spent ten minutes talking about The Walking Dead. It was some of the best ten minutes of my life. He's, he's just funny, he's spontaneously funny, which is really important. That's what Robin um, Robin Williams had. He could just boom, and that's that. And he's got a bit of that. So, yes, I like him. 
I, I know what he was accused of. It felt wrong to begin with and hashtag me too. So I tend to always believe the female, but this time it just it just rang wrong with me and um, indeed it was so I have one two three four five I believe yes this is the complete set of the stranger things five stars five stars you know I love these things and I'm wondering I don't see that many um, of the um, Monsters? Or... Uh, you know, the square ones. See, they're gone from my memory. Oops. The, ones, the dorbs? The dorbs. Uh, there are going to be some dorbs coming out on the pop up shop. Nothing too thrilling to me. But I like these better. And I'll tell you why. Because, first of all, they are. They're whimsical. Who doesn't like whimsy? Whimsy is so fun, and then you open it up. You can still set it like this because you can see the character. If you have room, you can open them up and set the next one here and just see it down the line. Just I don't have room for that. But as you can see, there's always little things that come with it. Um, and this one having, this is Will. This one has his drawing of what he knew was coming. And I don't know what that is. And I've looked at... Oh, it's a video. It's a tape. It's a tape. Okay. I saw it up close. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That's Will. We have Mike. Mike is a funny little guy. And he's in two major successes. Um, he's in Stranger Things and, of course, It. And the new It comes out next year. I may have some video um, footage, uh, trailer or two. I'm going to do some trailer episodes. Not working for two days or even thinking I could has really made me see when I can work. I'm going to work. This is Mike. And he has... Uh, okay. Oh, he's got a walkie-talkie. And... Oh, the, the, um... Not sure what that is. I wanted to say it was a microphone. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> this is Lucas. I love Lucas's big eyes. They have really made these guys just whimsical and wonderful, and I really like them. Lucas has his signature um, uh, cup. No, 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 no. <coughs> Bi not bifocal. Bi binoculars. Binoculars. Thank you. See, small little thing. I've had to ask him what a pin was. I knew what to do with it. Couldn't remember what to call it. Okay, he also has I can't see it. I've we've got to both get our glasses. Cause I'm getting more lines on my face than anybody could count right now. And of course, he has his little um belt around his his waist. I, I love these kids and these kids ain't kids and that's one of the problems with kids being uh, raised in Hollywood on a movie set or a TV set it's really hard this is our little 11 Millie Bobby Brown is just absolutely wonderful she's British all these Brits coming in getting all the American parts but who could do it better? I don't know. This is hilarious. Now, obviously, it's got egos, but the other thing it has is her wig. It's just hilarious. I'm thinking about taking her out, putting that wig on her head. 
doesn't look like it'd fit because her head's not as high and I don't, I don't know. But again, the adorable eyes. And last but not least, Dustin. Dustin, you would rate higher than anybody as far as the show of the kids. Now, I don't know, Steven and, and uh, you know, the new guy who's full, who would be cute, but he's way too full of himself. But Dustin is very popular with the ladies and very smart and very funny. He does have an ailment, a syndrome, and his shoulders are smaller, and I don't think his front teeth are his own. He puts them in, but I'm not positive about that, but I know he has some issues. But instead of, and a lot of this is probably his parents doing, instead of sitting around saying, poor me, I'll never make, I won't ever have a job in my life. He has gone out and he's probably richer than everybody else watching us right now put together. But, um, I'm just happy and proud of him. If he were my kid, I would just be hugging him all the time. It's the hair. Is it the hair? The hair is pretty cool. Okay. He seems to have dart with him. And something else. <laughs> oh. No. I was going to say it actually looks like it's Star Wars related. I don't know what it is. Problem is they put it in there and they put a little plastic to hook it in and that completely distorts what it is. I can see dart though. You can't mistake dart. So those are my pops for the day. But never fear, we have some, uh, I think, really pretty um, Disney pins. I'll show, I'll explain each one, but here is the overall. So, right here on top, <laughs> on top. Okay, right there. That is the 40th anniversary um, pin that commemorates the 40, the 40 years that Space Mountain has been at Disneyland. Does anybody else think that can't possibly be right? But there it is in silver and whatever, 40th anniversary. Over here we have... Ah! Right here, we have a pin that says Dog Days of Summer 2013. It's a limited edition pin, as is the Space Mountain pin. And it's something we don't see a whole lot of, and that's the Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians. You don't see a whole lot, especially on a cheap, cheaper limited edition pin. They are usually saved for a much more expensive set. And then down here is what was given to you if you were um, an official um, day one charter member of the D21 Club. And it says the official community for Disney pins. Oh, fans. I, I thought it said pins. I was going to say, that's ah, not really true. And we've gone to a few of their, um, uh, what do you call them? Conventions. Mm -hmm. And the funnest thing about the conventions is they have what they call, um, is it called a door hopper? Yeah. Yeah. And you go, a room hopper. A room hopper. That, that's what it is. You go upstairs, starting at a certain floor, and these people rent their motel, their hotel rooms. It's usually at the Wingate, Wingate, mm -hmm. Wyndham, Wyndham, uh, right across from from Disneyland. And you, no, it's not right across. It's down, it's down the street a bit. And you go up to the floor, and there's somebody either telling you there or there's a sign telling you which floor to start on and there's doors open and you go in and people are selling pens it's to die for 
And I think the first time I went, I spent three hundred dollars <laughs> because there there was pins there I wanted that I'd never even seen before, only on on pictures. So I really wanted, you know, and that's the way it goes. Anyways, so yeah, that's what that pin is, and of course that's Jiminy Cricket. The little pin of the actually that's a sucker, and that's Mickey on the sucker. And that is from the Disney store. Um, not the Disney store, the Disney um, and Gir Girardelli chocolate shop store, which is on Hollywood Boulevard. It is a place of beauty because you can get all the chocolate, all the ice cream, and all the pins you can afford. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Plus you get to be on Hollywood Boulevard right across the street of where they have many premieres and many shows and sometimes you see some fairly big stars walking across the street and it's also right next door to what is it Jimmy Fallon where Jimmy Fallon films mm -hmm. yeah it's right next door to where Jimmy Fallon films his TV show so you sometimes see uh, people going in and out of there from the back if you come up through the uh, if you come up through the parking lot and you walk down an alley that you don't walk down at night and you may see stars going in and out of there. I've never really seen anybody big. Okay, now these pins, and you guys probably know, and I've told you I don't like princesses that much, but these pins are from a blind box. So you would, just like, uh, just like the uh, Funko blind box, you would buy a box and they're usually behind, the new ones are usually behind the, um, um, uh, counter. So you can't, like, weigh them or do anything like that. And if you ask to see them, they'll basically tell you, you know, here, look. And they don't let you touch them. Because you'll squeeze them trying to figure out who they are. You get what you get. <laughs> and these are only, um marked as limited editions on the back but as you can say and they're not all princesses Jessica Rabbit certainly is not a princess but she is a very prominent um, Disney character I don't see why and there's Belle and there's Tiana so um, those are the pens I have for you today Day. I hope you enjoyed them. If you want to see particular characters or particular pins, let me know because I probably have one. <laughs> and um, I want to thank everybody for watching our little, um, you know, why is that like that? I would like to thank everybody for watching our little show here and I hope you'll continue to watch. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Um, well, I'll, you know, just some something came up this week that's kind of got me down. I'm not going to say what it is because, um, you know, you know how my son used to say I'm in a cornfield when he was trying to talk to me? And I didn't understand what he meant. So finally, when he wasn't in a cornfield, and it's when he was living in Chicago and he, his girlfriend and him were having big time trouble and he couldn't get home and he went to Chicago with tennis shoes and no jacket um, so he um, would try to talk to me but he couldn't because she was in the room so he'd go outside and freeze his butt off and he says don't you know what I mean I'm like no he says there's ears of corn in the cornfield I'm supposed to know what that is you can say the walls have ears. Or time. Well, no, I am I was born after corn was discovered. But <laughs> I know you may not have been. <laughs> Kidding. Don't. Mine was the walls have ears. Not corn. Yeah, my mom used to say that. The walls have ears. And then she'd say exactly what it was that the walls shouldn't hear. Anyways, so yeah, there's just something bothering me. Um... It is what it is, and this too shall pass, and it's nothing earth-shattering. It's just something that someone like me would worry about, because that's one feature of being 
um, who I am and what I am. And so, you know, don't even worry about it. It's just me. Anyways, guys, I am looking so forward to possibly... Oh, no, it's Friday. We will be seeing you 6 o'clock tomorrow evening because... And we need to talk about... Do we want to keep it on Saturday or do we want to move it to Friday or Sunday? Is there is there too much going on? I mean, I don't mind you guys going back and forth. Um, but the other people have so many watching that I don't know. I don't know what to say. It, it'll work itself all out and uh, it'll be okay. All right, guys. Well, I am going to go. Why? Because I'm 25 minutes again, and I'm trying to keep it like below 20, but it's just not working out for me. Hard to do. Yes. <laughs> Especially when you've got this glob, glob, glob like I do. Anyways, this is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic, too. And we're saying... See you next time. Yeah, bye.